सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणाधय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मीति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनो गुणक्त सह वीरकर्वाहै तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तमा विदिशावै ओं शांति 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 धातु ब्रह्म सॉरी ओं धातु ब्रह्मैव संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्य प्रकृति कृषुवंताधातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परोक्ता दंडमो व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांत मे लोकास्तमी We'll continue with the tenth chapter and uh, do as much as possible. We'll not do Q and A today. <coughs> I think uh, we finished the twenty-eighth shloka in last part. Huh? So the twenty-ninth shloka has no introduction. Bhagwan is answering Arjuna's question as to where all he is upasthya, in which all things Arjuna should meditate upon Bhagwan. to do chintana or dhyana on bhagwan and the 29th shloka he says anantashta sinaganam varuno yadasamaham pitrinam paryamachasmi namasanyamatamaham so naganam cha aham anantaha asmi ananta 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 nagadi ananta sheshanaga the ananta sheshanaga who is the uh, the he the bed of uh, vishnu on which uh, you know vishnu sleeps so that that is me among all the serpents that is what bhagwan says anantascha asmi naganam naga visheshanam naga rajascha asmi is nagaraja and yadasam aham varunah yadasam is these are there are these yadasa are these deities who rule over water bodies Among those, he is Varuna. He says, Varuna rules over every water body because he rules over rain. He is the lord of rain. So Varuna asks me. Bhagwan says that I am Varuna. That is my vibhuti. And further, what? What is that? Yadasam is aham abdevata nam raja aham. So abdevata nam. Yadasam is equal to abdevata. And पितृनाम अहम अर्यमाच अस्मी अमोंग पितृस पितृस आर एंसेस्टर्स अमोंग ऑल द एंसेस्टर्स आई एम द लॉर्ड ऑफ द एंसेस्टर्स हु इज अर्यमा अर्यमा नाम पितृराजस्च अस्मी अर्यमा रूल्स ओवर द एंसेस्टर्स इन द पितृलोका देयर बाय आई एम अर्यमा ही सेज एंड संयमताम अहम अस्मी there is a question there something came up yeah quite a lot of delay so he bhagwan says that bhagwan krishna says ishara i am ishara and how am i manifest now sanyamatam madhye sanyamanam kurvatam madhye among those who you know are ruling over they they are controllers not ruling over they are discipliners um, among among disciplinarians those who discipline others so among them he says i am yamaraja so you can get away by saying no to all the disciplinary action anyone does it government tries to discipline us i can get away one way or the other we have so many examples bankers and uh, those who have taken loans they don't care they have a lot of money they just run away or i won't give do whatever you want all this can be done by those who, who have a say there who can you know reject the disciplinary action negate it even and counter it but when yamaraja tries to discipline us we can do nothing the best among us or the worst among us however you take it can do nothing Yama is Yamaraja. When Murthy calls, everyone has to go, unless you are Markandeya. And Markandeya also did not, you know, uh, Yamadutas or Yamas. He did not get away really 
by himself he he held on to ishwara and shiva himself saved him and thereby he has become who had a very short life has become has become chiranjeevi but otherwise who when who a whosoever it is when yamaraja comes there is no getting away there for yamaha cha asmi aham i am yama among those who are disciplining others you see all of these you know most of these not all of these there are quite a lot of uh, you know sanyamat sanyamat is a satranta padam you can see uh, those uh, krudanta shabdas and look for krut prati uh, pratyas also further in 38th shloka bhagwan says prahladaschasmi daityanam kala kalayatam aham mrgaanam cha mrgendroham vainate yascha pakshinam among daityas daityas are particular category of demons uh, rakshasas are different uh, is uh, asuras are a category then there is daityas we don't care what kind of differences but we know so you know there is kubera in one rakshasa yaksha yaksha rakshasa and there is prahladha we know bhakta prahladha very famous there is there is not a person who does not know prahladha's bhakti in our generation the new generation we don't know i mean they know doremon <laughs> i don't know whether they know prahladha बट प्रहलाद अस्म दैत्यान मध्य अहम प्रहलाद भक्त प्रहलाद प्रहलाद वॉज दैत्य बट स्टील स्टील अ भक्त सो ऑल दिस दैत्य दैत्य भाव एवरी ह्यूमन बीइंग हैज मिक्स ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस सो इट कैन बी टेकन दैट मैनर आल्सो व्हेन यू लुक एट दी यू कैन टेक इट एज अलेगरी वेन यू सी पुराण कथा but it can be taken literally also among the ityas prahladah further what kalayatam aham kala asmi kalayatam kalayatam is basically that which counts you know kalayat kalayat is that which is counting or taking we can say counting counting is also you know this taking is also some kind of counting it is you know we say time ticks so does everything you know every count ticks and thereby kalayatam madhye aham kala asmi i am kala and kala is that time which keeps on counting since when is the kala counting every other count may come to an end why to k problem you know you use two digits and then somehow you don't foresee and then after two digits you fall short of you know you cross over into another century and then somehow these two digits are no longer sufficient so you exhaust other numbers also any counting you exhaust in you may say million billion zillion whatever and then gazillion you don't know what number you'll have to roll back and start the count but kalaha keeps on ticking forever therefore that kala is ishwara kala ay tasmay namaha then mrugaanam cha aham madhye aham mrugendra ha i am simha ha simha vyagrova based on who is the king of the uh, forest is it lion or is it tiger some places where tigers are there may be tiger some places where tigers are not there lions are there lion some places where both may be there one may be you know superseding the other so simha vyagrova whichever you think is more fierce both actually in comparison in comparison to all these others you know other mrugas deers and what not even the elephant elephant can can't stand in front of a simha so that is a prayer prays for in uh, i think in uh, in vedanta paribhasha there is a prayer to the guru uh, by the author that he his guru is like a simha who uh, in front of whom no one can you know win over in tarka and all those uh, all the tactics that the opponents use no one can stand in front of that uh, vedanta simha why because others may be even elephants but then 
Gajendra among them also, we, even if you have elephants also, herd of elephants still a, a lion can take care of all of them. So there is a prashamsa there and that kind of a simha Bhagavan himself is. So Murganamcha Murgendraha is simha vyagraha va aham. Further pakshinam madhye, what about birds? Are you anyone in the, among the birds? Yeah, Vainateya Ascha. Vainateya is Garuda. Vainateya is Garuda. So, Pakshina, I am Garuda, says Bhagavan. Pavana Pavatam Asmi Rama Shastra Bhatam Aham Jhashana Makarascha Asmi Srota Sam Asmi Jhanavi. Further, what am I? Says Pavana. Pavana is Vayu. Vayu is also a purifier there. If the wind blows, then it takes away lot of lot of dust away. It brings in also, but it clears also. So pavatam asmi pavanaha. Pavatam pu pavane. See pu pavane pavane pu pavane. Pu dhatu is there. Pu that dhatu is in the meaning of to purify. So pavatam asmi shatranta again pavat. Among those that purify, all the purifiers, you know, we say purifier, we use uh, you know, air purifiers and what not, water purifiers. <laughs> so, among all those, Pavanaha, I am Pavanaha. And Shastra Bhatam Madhye, Shastra Bhatam means what? It's a, it's an Upapadata Purusha. Shastram, Shastra is a weapon. So, Shastram Vibharti iti, Shastra Bhat. Vibharti means one deals. Holds are wields. One wields the weapon. So, among the warriors, among the warriors, Bhagavan Krishna says he is Ramaha. Nobody is better than Rama in, in battle. We say Parshuram also. He is also Rama. The only Kshatriya that Parshurama as a Brahmana could not, could not win over is Ramaha. Is Rama. Because Rama is also Parashurama. Parashurama is Rama. There is no Veda. How can one win over the other? It will be an endless battle. But uh, Ramaha is uh, just a thought comes to mind. You know, we study the Shabda, Rama Shabda. So, Ramaha, Ramo, Ramaha. Sometimes, you know, wonder when you say, people get confused. Ramaha, fine, I am fine with Ramaha. Ekavachana. What about Rama? How can you think of two Ramas? Rama can be only one. So there you think about Parshurama. Rama and Parshurama. So Rama Parshurama is equal to Rama. Okay, two Ramas. What about the third plural? You need bare minimum three to make a plural. So what about Ramaha? Ramascha, 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 Ramaha. Where is the third? Balarama. So, Rama, Balarama and, and uh, Parshurama are three Ramas. So, it becomes easy to understand. Otherwise, it is difficult to see Rama, 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 ha. Rama, ha, Rama, Rama, ha. just a chant. So, interestingly, I was thinking and then I was uh, thinking about this and then incidentally someone asked me in a Sanskrit class, a friend of mine, I was teaching him and he asked me, uh, I mean, Rama, I have, I said, okay, we'll look at Balaka, but Rama also I'll explain. So, you can look at other Ramas also, they are also, otherwise very difficult to see Rama, two Rama, generally we don't find, uh, in village side you find two Ramas, you find ten Ramas also, everybody is a Rama, Ramachandra is Rama, some other Rama, Balarama is Rama, all, such names do exist in Agraharas, but otherwise very difficult to see Rama. Okay, so, uh, Shastra Bhatam Aham Ramaha Chasmi. Further, what Jashanam among the amphibians? Jashanam Madhye Makara Chasmi. I am Makara. I am a crocodile, he says. Scared of a crocodile, you just look at it and you are scared. You don't even need to see it. You just look at a picture also, you are scared. Such a fear just and uh, Makara, 
that that is also preet that is also makara this is uh, also called as a uh, graha graha is another uh, word for makara panchadashi panchadashi kara vidyaranyacharya preets his uh, his guru who is shankarananda so, bhagwan shankarananda is praised by bhagwan vidyaranya who is panch panchadashi kara who wrote panchadashi in uh, the mangala charana he praises him as uh, ग्राह ग्राहक कारण सो देर इज पंचदशी मंगलाचरण इज देर आई कॉन्ट रीकॉल दी बिगिनिंग बट देर इज ग्राह ग्राहक कर्मणे या ग्राह ग्राहक कर्मणे सेरीमेंट रिमेंबर्स पंचदशी मंगलाचरण सो देर ग्राह ग्राहक कर्मणे सो ही इज ग्राह ही सेज दैट माय गुरु इज अ ग्राह व्हाय because he graha grahaika karma he has only one one karma what is his karma a single karma to is background noise is anyone hearing background noise what is the noise i don't hear it nothing here there it is silent Is it still there? Can just give me a moment. Let me try to change the headphones. How about now? Is it better? Okay, better. Okay, so I'm using another uh, directional microphone, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Kalyan Jia. Graha Grasa Ek Karmani. Do you remember the uh, uh, shloka also beginning? Yeah. Just a second. Yeah. I think it's coming. Uh, Namah Shri Shankaranand. नमः श्री शंकरानंद गुरु पादाबुजन मने नमः श्री शंकरानंद गुरु पादाबुजन मुने वॉट इज द थर्ड पाद आई डोंट रिकॉल नमः शंकरानंद गुरु पादाबुजन मने सविलास मोह ग्रास्त मोह I I don't uh, recall the third pada. Anyway, thank you. So graha grasa ek karmaniya. So graha is a is a makara. Savilasa mahamoya. Savilasa mahamoha graha grasa ek karmani. Thank you. So Namah Shri Shankaranandam Guru Pada Mujan Mane. Savilasa mahamoha graha grasa ek karmani is the Mangala Charan of Panchadashi Kara. been a long time i had heard it somewhere so uh, so makaraha makaraha is graha so who is that graha grasaik karma one who has graha grasaik karma what kind of a graha that crocodile graha grasaik karma he has only one oh good good who did in uh, swami vis camp is it rishikesh maybe swami vis camp No, no, Swami TV scan. Swami TV scan, not Swami V. So, Jasha Nam, Matsya Di Nam, Makara Ha Nama, Jati Vishesha Ham. Says Bhagwan Bhaskara there. Anyway, in the Panchadashi, Graha Graha Se Karmani, who swallows all this. Actually, he is not a Graha. Graha only Graha. 
ग्राहक ग्राहक कर्म ने ओके स्वामी साक्षात जी ओके साक्षात जी टू पंचदशी सो देर इन दी या ही मस्ट आल्सो एक्सप्लेन दिस दी मंगलाचरण स्वामी साक्षात जी लाइक्स टू टॉक अबाउट दैट मंगलाचरण इज ही मस्ट हैव ब्रॉट इन वेदर ही इज अ गुरु इज अ नॉन वेजिटेरियन दैट ही समथिंग वाज देयर आई रिकॉल आई थिंक साक्षात जी लाइक्स टू डू दैट दैट वे सो ही सेज गुरु ग्राह ग्राह और ग्राह ग्रास ग्रास वन हु ग्रास कर्म ग्रास कर्म इज ए प्रातिपदिक मेंडिंग देयर सो वन हु हैज ओनली वन सिंग्युलर कर्म व्हाट इज दैट टू टेक अवे दी मोह महामोह सविलास महामोह दैट महामोह अलोंग विथ इट्स विलास आई टेक्स अवे दैट सो दैट ग्राह क्रोकोडाइल ही टेक्स अवे दैट क्रोकोडाइल ऑल्सो ग्रास एक ही ईट्स अवे दैट दैट इज दी आइडिया ही ग्राफ दी रादर द वे दी ग्राह मीन्स इट इट ग्राफ इट इट टेक्स होल्ड ऑफ यू विथ इज टीथ सो भगवान ऑल्सो वेन ही टेक्स होल्ड ऑफ यू झशाणा मकरश्चास्मी वेन यू नो वेन यू होल्ड ऑन टू भगवान यू नो यू नो दैट मार्जरा एंड मर्कट एंड न्याया राइट मार्जरा मर्कट एंड न्याया मार्जरा इज अ कैट and markata is markata is a is a monkey as a bhakta you can hold on to bhagwan and as a devotee bhagwan holds you it is not true true with everyone a person who wants a choice no i will hold on to bhagwan and then thereby that is what markata nyaya the markata like a markata like a monkey monkey if you seen the monkey it holds on to its mother the the child it holds on to its mother and when the monkey jumps from one one tree to another sometimes the the, the child dangles you know and sometimes it may even fall off but marjara markata marjara marjara what is it the, the when the cub is picked up by the cat cat or a big cat even the tiger holds its uh, cub in with its teeth holds it with its teeth and then there is no chance when it is you are grasped like a crocodile is grasped you know when the mother holds on to its cub mother cat holds on to its cub and jumps wherever does not let go of the cub cub is not even hurt by the grasp so this makara ha you can even see of this makara the crocodile the way ishwara holds you as a devotee he does not let you go that is the grasp of the crocodile here and srota sam asmi janavi janavi is ganga it is the tadhita srota sam asmi srota sam among all those you know all the that flows everything that flows all the water bodies or all the you know flowing rivers among the rivers you can take among the rivers srotasam aham janavi asmi janavi is ganga has a special place we also have yamuna and narmada so it is said you know as somewhere it is said that uh, yamuna is uh, like karma for karma yamuna for uh, karma is in for bhakti sorry for bhakti there is a yamuna bhakti more than ganga bhakti there is yamuna bhakti and narmada is what as an upasana you go around narmada parikrama narmada parikrama takes a couple of years go around narmada i mean if there are people who do faster also in months also people may be doing but then generally the way you know you walk slowly and you know have a measured uh, parikrama it takes a couple of years so that becomes an upasana so narmada is for upasana yamuna is for bhakti what is ganga for ganga is jnana ganga so it is jnana ganga and bhagwan says that among all those rivers all rivers are uh, devatas for us among those i am ganga he says because jnana ganga chit swarupa why janavi janavi is a tadhita i was saying janno apatyam stri 
she is the daughter of janu who was janu janu was a rishi who uh, who was uh, happened to be settled in the path of the flow of ganga bhagirathi of uh, path of bhagirathi when she was called down by uh, bhagirath he called down he prayed and then shiva uh, he prayed that ganga comes down and then his uh, ancestors should be washed of their sins so he had to lead the ganga to whatever you know loka so he had to bring her down from the heavens and then bhagwan shiva said that okay actually she said that if i can come down but if i fall on the earth then earth will not be there because i'll come down with such a force so somebody has to you know reduce the force how do you reduce the force so shiva offered his jata so she landed on his jata and then the force reduced and then she landed here now after landing here then he led her where should she follow and while going she passed through janno settlement he was very angry you know who is this flooding my uh, my uh, you know ritual ground so he had this ritual ground the sacrificial ground it is being flooded by ganga so he drank all the water ganga water he drank the complete river away and bhagirath was in trouble he said that i have done so much of sadhana to get ganga here now he did another sadhana to please janu and then he agreed okay i'll uh, so he let ganga out through his ear having drunk her as a devi he let her out through his ear so since she came from his ear she is called as his daughter therefore janavi janno apatyam stri iti janavi so that is janavi so bhagwan manifest as ganga maiya also as you say in hindi in rishikesh further sargaanam adirantascha madhyam chaivah marjuna adhyatma vidya vidyanam vadah pravadatam aham so sargaanam sargaanam sar srij dhatu srij dhatu sarga is a creation creation or it can be taken as created also karmani ghai karmani ghai pratyay will give you sarga from srij dhatu so sargaana madhy among all created things or all creation entire creation or all created things i am adhi antascha madhyancha we have seen this earlier also bhutanam adhi antah madhyamcha eva aham arjuna earlier he has said bhutanam now he says sargaanam so punarukti dosha is not there because sarga and bhuta have a good amount of difference can be brought in there so bhagwan bhashyakara does that sargaanam srushti nam adhi antascha madhyamcha eva aham utpatti sthiti laya aham arjuna this we have already seen when we saw bhutanam earlier he says bhutana meaning jeevadishthitanam eva adihi antascha ityajyuktam upakrame in the upakrama in the beginning he has already said that among bhutas he is not among bhutas he is for bhutas he is adi anta and madhya uh, among also jeevadishthitanam adishthitanam who are these bhutas they are jeevadishthita jeevadishtha jeevadishthita bhuta The, the all these bodies are bhutas beings who are ruled over by a jiva the jiva is anena atmana anupravishya that creator himself has entered as jiva anena atmana anupra jivaatmana anupravishya in the manner that a jiva is how is he is an individualized jiva so in that manner ishwara the creator has entered the bhutas and thereby bhutas are what they are jeevadishthita bhutas tesham madhye tesham eva adihi antascha ityadi uktam it was said iha tu sarvasya eva sarga matrase iti vishesha here do he says that it is among all the created or the creations so there is a difference further adhyatma vidya vidyanam madhye adhyatma vidya among all the sorts of vidyas available there are so many sorts of vidyas with our inquisitive nature we want to know anything and everything and there are so many varieties of thinking so many varieties of knowledge is are possible among them adhyatma vidya 
आत्मविद्या अध्यात्म विद्या आत्मनी अध्यात्म इज वॉट आत्मनी सप्तमी अर्थ अधी अधी इज दट सप्तमी अर्थ इट ब्रिंग्स अवर्ड अध्यात्म इज सप्तमी मीनिंग आत्मनी आत्मनी विषय विद्या या विद्या सा अध्यात्म विद्या दैट इज वॉट दैट इज भगवान दि विद्या इट सेल्फ इज भगवान अमंग ऑल दि विद्या आत्म विद्या इज श्रेष्ठ एंड दैट इज ईश्वरा वाय श्रेष्ठ मोक्षार्थत्वा प्रधानमस्मी प्रधानम आत्म विद्या इज प्रधान एंड वाय बिकॉज मोक्षार्थत्वा दि एंटायर पर्स्यूट इज फॉर मोक्ष थ्रू ऑल दि जन्म थ्रू ऑल दि स्पीशीज and finally we land in human body and then we try to pursue this that is the reason for the human body and therefore mokshar tatva that atma vidya which leads to moksha that krishna says i am further what pravadatam aham vadah pravadatam pravadat is the pravadati shatranta padam shatranta is kartari arth so among the pravadat pravadat means among the those who discuss among those who discuss what am i i am vada he says and vada is not kartari vada is what vada is it is karmani it is that that which is discussed the matter which is discussed it is a particular type of discussion vada particular type of discussion but among the discussers one those who discuss among them how can he be vada so here you have to do jahal lakshana bhagwan bashakara mentions there vada is what artha nirnay hetutvat we'll come back to this pravadatam pradhanam he says atah saham asmi then he explains that pravart uh, what is this word pravat to just let me check this word in another part ha there is a typo there श्लोक थर्टी सेकेंड श्लोक या प्रवक्तृ ट्राई टू फिक्स दैट आई थिंक प्रवक्तृ प्रवक् प्रवक्तृद्वारेण वदन भेदाद जल्प वितंडा यह ग्रहण प्रवदता प्रवदता हेज बीन सेट प्रवदता इज कर्तरी and kartari means those who discuss but pravrat pravaktru means basically pravadat is what pravaktru sir so, pravaktru is one who discusses but through one who discusses what is important there the one who discusses is not not that important there what is discussed is important therefore there is a jahal lakshana we have to jahal lakshana is you have to drop a part of what is meant mukhyartha has to be dropped and some related अन्य अर्थ हैज टू बी टेकन समथिंग रिलेटेड सेकेंडरी सर प्रवक्तृ विच इज मुख्य प्रधान प्रवक्तृ द्वारेण वदन भेदाम ग्रहण यह ग्रहण हियर वॉट हैज टू बी टेकन ए थ्रू जहल लक्षण यू हैव टू टेक दि डिस्कशन बट नॉट वन हू डिस्कसेस ऑल दो वन हू डिस्कसेस हैज बीन मेन्शन थ्रू दैट वर्ड वॉट हैज टू बी टेकन इज वदन भेद हैज टू बी टेकन therefore vadana bheda naam eva grahana and what is that vadana bheda among which he is vada ishwara is vada vada is one the other are jalpa and vitanda what is this vada jalpa vitanda so there is a technical definition there i'll just mention it will not go into that i'll just mention it so tattva nirnaya phala tattva bhutso ho katha vada so vada is when you have to decide this tattva nirnaya has to be done when the discussion is to lead to the nirnay of tattva that is called as vadaha it is not discussion for the sake of discussion it is not a, a, some other kind of discussion like jalpa or vitanda which will i'll mention what it is vadaha is what we, we even in uh, you know in vernacular uh, or other languages we have this vitanda it does vitanda vada so vitanda is also we call it as vada because it is vada in general sense vada means what is spoken what is discussed is vada the discussion or a debate is vada but vitanda vada is what vitanda is not really vada vitanda is in the distinct other languages also the usage is what vitanda it is vitanda means 
he talks any any sort of thing makes no sense at all he just he just wants to fight that is vitanda in in the common parlance but technically what it is we we'll go to jalpa first what is jalpa jalpa is jalpa is parapaksha nirakarana purva paksha swapaksh purva paksha swapaksha sthapana vati jalpa some something like that is there so parapaksha nirakarana what is the idea in jalpa jalpa means there is a purva pakshi that purva pakshi should be should be uh, you know he should be answered and he should be shown as wrong logically he should be shown to be wrong and what is the goal there my paksha should be should be established so countering another's paksha and establishing one's own paksha is called as jalpa and this jalpa is entire bhashya this entire bhashya is jalpa that is true with everyone every every siddhanti when he is discussing with a purva pakshi it is jalpa because there what is to be done is you establish your own paksha here we are establishing advaita paksha so bhagwan bhashyakar is establishing advaita paksha so uh, for shraddhalus it is vada but otherwise it is technically it is jalpa we should not feel bad about saying that uh, bhashya granthas or tika granthas are jalpa because we negate the other logically and establish logical in the sense because the other is using logic and we trace it back to the shruti so therefore it is a jalpa grantha technically but for students of advaita it is vada so that is krishna bhagwan krishna says i am vada what is vitanda now vitanda is uh, has a very funny uh, uh it has a very funny uh, description or definition lakshana parapaksha nirakarana is common so parapaksha nirakarana vati swapaksha sthapana hina vitanda there the commonality between jalpa and vitanda is that you have to counter the other but in jalpa you established your own mata also in vitanda there is nothing like own mata just because you say it it is wrong that's it i just want to show it is wrong in fact there are uh, i don't want to name anyone but if you see other granthas are like that you look at other bhashyas so called bhashyas if you look at advaita bhashya versus others they don't have their own paksha i have i've have heard uh, vidwat sabhas vidwat sabhas a person from a non advaita starts talking and he starts talking about advaita khandana why you have taken the uh, you have to talk about in vidwat sabha you should be talking about what is your paksha instead of talking about his paksha he is doing vitanda he is ta- talking ill about advaita that is all that they have to do and unfortunately the other sampradayas follow this even today even a child is trained to sh- to counter advaita they have no other goal the only goal is to counter advaita so i personally consider them as vitanda so i don't talk to them i have done earlier i have debated but then it is all actually you are breaking your head because they are not interested in vada it is not tattva niranaya anyway they are not interested in jalpa also because they don't you know talk about their own mata i say you explain how do you counter this they say no you are mayavadi you are mithyavadi so mithyavadi is mayavadi is a big term they don't even understand that so tattva bahu duram so vada bahu duram jalpa itself they don't do so they do vitanda meaning what they just want to establish nothing they want to prove you wrong and how just because you say it is it is wrong just because shankaracharya says it has to be wrong this is their thinking very unfortunate but then that is how uh, uh, the sampradaya has uh, been split and uh, these acharyas and uh, the current school where even children are taught uh, advaita siddhi grantha which even uh, advaita in study after studying a lot of bhashya lot of tika they go it, it is called as brahat prasthana and in brahat prasthana one of the granthas is called khandana khanda khadya khandana khanda khadya is what this vitanda granthas that others have written against advaita they are khandana granthas advaita khandana granthas in those advaita khandana granthas whatever nonsense for a lack of better word 
it is nonsense basically whatever nonsense has been argued and thereby they claim that we have done advaita khandana has been you know has been completely shattered using their own tools mind you using their own vitanda tools they have been shown to be wrong so whatever they have countered their countering has shown as wrong using their own vitanda vada that grantha is called khandana 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 khanda khadya so khandana khandana khadya is the, that grantha is one of the brahat prasthana traya and there uh, the you know they make chutney the harsha makes a chutney of uh, all the all the other uh, khandanas other pakshas and there there is no advaita establishment needed because uh, they have not really countered it at all they have used vitanda so he uses vitanda to show them vitanda and uh, that is a vitanda grantha so among all these vada jalp and vitanda bhagwan says i am vada why because it is artha nirnaya hetu tvat vada ha artha nirnaya hetu what is the discussion debate for it is not it should not be your waste it should not be my my waste of time waste of time because kalam naya elsewhere it is said how should the jnani carry his time means how should one spend one's time we have unfortunately reached a stage where if we don't keep our mind busy then we have to kill time but in shastra the killing time is actually uh, considered as a dosha you have to spend your time well how do you spend your time well not by discussing for you know for the sake of it and you know doing some vitanda it's okay to do some practice sessions where you gain tarka that is all fine to gain some skills but otherwise everything should be focused towards moksha therefore artha nirnaya hetu there has to be you know just because i say you do it or just because it has you know some some reasoning is given by others you know because there is no reasoning but if you inquire into why a person does anything why a debate why a discussion why raise some questions it should reach to a goal which is an artha nirnaya we should should be able to land it should conclude in a win win situation that is a discussion that is a fruitful debate not to you know just fight with each other and uh, unfortunately you know other religions win in this kind of a nonsensical uh, uh, you know hammering each other the other religions which are not even uh, cannot be categorized dharma they win over because we are fighting this is an unfortunate state that we have reached but artha nirnaya should be the goal and that is bhagavan he manifests as vadaha so that is uh, quite a lot for 30 second 33 shloka says aksharanam akarosmi dwanda samasika sicha ahame vakshayak ahame vakshayak kalo dhata aham vishvato mukha अक्षराणाम अकारोस्मि द्वंद्व सामासिक से च अहम् एवाक्षेप कालो धाता हम विश्वतों का सो आई फॉल्टर्ड सो आई शुड रीड इट अगेन आई मेक यू ऑल रीड सो आई शुड टेस्ट माय ओन मेडिसिन सो अक्षराणाम अहम् अकारहास्मि एंड एल्सवेर उपनिषद सेस आई थिंक छांदोग्य उपनिषद सेस अकारो वही सर्वावाक अकारा इ and akara vai sarvo sarva vak vak is trilinga therefore sarva entire speech all words are what omkara and that akara omkara is bhagavan aksharanam aham akara akara varna asmi and samasikasya cha dvandva samasa is what you know all we all know samasa what is samasa samasa samuhasya samasikasya samasikasya is uh, singular but samasikasya means samasa samuhasya among all these sorts of compounds compounds are coming together so therefore in a compound what am i he says among the group of compounds as an individual it is samasika i am dvandva why dvandva because dvandva is what what is the pradhana in dvandva anyone how do you define a dvandva what what is pradhana 
इन द्वंद्व व्हाट इज प्रधान तत्पुरुष है उत्तर पद प्रधान बहुरी इज अन्य पद प्रधान द्वंद्व इज व्हाट प्रधान देर एनी वन उभय पद प्रधान सो उभय पद प्रधान और इन द्वंद्व यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल ऑल्सो एज वी सॉ रामश्च 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 इज वॉट राम राम रामा एंड देन एक शेष बिकम्स रामा अदरवाइज रामश्च लक्ष्मण भरत राम लक्ष्मण भरता वी कैन डू इट इन लाइक बहुरी यू कैन यूज मल्टीपल पदार्थ एंड उभय पद प्रधान इज राइट और सर्व पद प्रधान ऑल्सो यू कैन से सेम मीनिंग बिकॉज यू विल कंपाउंड टू एट अ टाइम यू कैन कंपाउंड मोर ऑल्सो एट अ टाइम इन द्वंद्व सो टू से सो द्वंद्व वाई बिकॉज सर्व पद प्रधान वॉट इज योग वॉट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ योग लक्षण किम योग से लक्षण किम वॉट इज योग इन इन गीता शास्त्र वॉट इज योग एक्चुअली देर इज ओनली वन डेफिनेशन पीपल यूज टू वी हैव सीन दैट रेफ्यूटेशन कैंड ऑफ अ टॉक वेन वी विजिटेड दैट श्लोक आर इयर बट सेकेंड चैप्टर वॉट इज दी वॉट इज योग लक्षण किम योग से लक्षण किम वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ योग सिंगल वर्ड वॉट इज योग उच्य वॉट इज द श्लोक ज्ञान नास्ति खलु ज्ञान इज नॉट योग वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन बाय गीताचार्य समत्व योग उच्य समत्व द्वंद्व सर्व पद प्रधान बीसी साम्य दे सर्व पद और दट इज समत्व समत्व योग उच्य द्वंद्व इज वॉट सर्व पद प्रधान सो नॉट वन वन इज नॉट श्रेष्ठ समत्व योग इज दट समत्व सम ब्रह्म कैन यू सी दैट इन द्वंद्व देर फोर ईश्वरा इज सेंग दैट ही इज द्वंद्व अमोंग ऑल दि कंपौंड अहम अक्षय अक्षय अहम अक्षय काल दट काल इज अक्षय एज दो अक्षय एंड वॉट इज दिस काल प्रसिद्ध वॉट इज प्रसिद्ध काल टाइम दैट वी नो क्षणाद्याख्य विच इज कॉल क्षण मोमेंट इट्स एट्सेट्रा यू कैन डिवाइड एंड क्षण एंड इट कीप्स ऑन टेकिंग एंड इट गोज ऑन फॉर एवर यू हेव सीन अर्लियर ऑल्सो इज मेन्शन इयर काल बट देन दिस काल एंड दैट काल दैट इज वॉट इज टिक्स एंड हियर वॉट इज इट इट इज क्षणाद्याख्य काल अथवा टू अवॉइड यू नो इफ यू कन्फ्यूज If we confuse ourselves with अक्षय अक्षीण which does not reduce, does not diminish, that is the काल And if we may get confused, it has already said काल Why is he repeating? अथवा therefore is अथवा परमेश्वर because काल से भी काल काल से भी काल That is another definition of परमेश्वर काल से भी काल काल देर इज ऑल्सो यम मृत्यु मृत्यु से भी मृत्यु बिकॉज इन कठोपनिषद देर इज अ मंत्र ये मृत्यो उपसेचन मृत्यु इज उपसेचन मृत्यु इज लाइक यू नो मृत्यु इज लाइक अ साइड डिश टू हू बिकॉज ही कंज्यूम्स एवरीथिंग देर फॉर काल से भी काल दैट इज अनदर पॉसिबल एज इन पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ काल ऑफ मृत्यु ऑल्सो धाता अहम धाता विधाता कर्मफल धाता इत्यर्थ विधाता कर्मफल से विधाता धाता एंड देन सर्व जगत विश्वतो मुख सर्वतो मुख ही इज विश्वतो मुख ऑल्सो एंड देर बाय ही कंक्लूड थर्टी थर्ड मृत्यु सर्व हरश्चाहम उद्भवश्च भविष्यता कीर्ति श्रीर्वाक् नारीण स्मृतिर्मेधा धृति क्षमा So here, dhriti hi kshama. Visarga should be pronounced completely, not artha visarga here. Mrityu sarva hara ha. Mrityu is who sarva hara ha. So Mrityu is divida. Bhagwan Bhaskar says there are two types of deaths. One is what 
धनादि हरहा हु टेक्स अवे धना एटसेट्रा ऑल दैट वी कंसीडर वैल्यूएबल ही टेक्स अवे प्राणा इज नॉट वैल्यूएबल देयर बट प्राणा इज आल्सो वैल्यूएबल सो प्राणा हरश्च इज द मेन मीनिंग बट धनादि हरहा आल्सो इज अनदर मीनिंग तत्र यह प्राणा हरहा स सर्व हरा उच्यते वन हु टेक्स अवे प्राणा ही इज टेकन अवे एवरीथिंग व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू इफ प्राणा इज नॉट देयर एंड वी हैव ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ अदर फैसिलिटीज और अदर धना और अर्थ धनादि सो प्राण हरा इज सर्व हरा दैट इज मृत्यु उच्य सर्थ आई एम दैट मृत्यु ऑल्सो अथवा वाय वाय ओनली दैट मीनिंग अनदर मीनिंग इज पॉसिबल भगवान भाष्यकार अच्छे पर इज ईश्वर प्रलय सर्व हरणा सर्व हरा वाय सर्व हरा बिकॉज इन प्रलय एज एज दैट यू नो दैट शिवा हू टेक्स ए विरुद्रा हू रिजॉल्व एवरीथिंग इन टू वन सेल्फ दैट सर्व हरणा सर्व हर वेन प्रलय दैट ईश्वर इज कॉल्ड एज सर्व हर बिकॉज ही हिम सेल्फ मैनिफेस्ट एज दि डिस्ट्रॉयर और दि डी मैनिफेस्ट दि अनमेनिफेस्ट दि वर्ल्ड इन टू माया तत्व इट सेल्फ उद्भव 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 भविष्य 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 इज फ्यूचर वॉट एवर इज इन फ्यूचर अमॉंग दोस् ही इज उद्भव उद्भव इज वॉट उत्कर्ष अभ्युदय ही इज दैट विच अभ्युदय इज विच इज दि यु नो वॉट इज ऑस्पिशिय और यु नो वॉट इज वॉट इज गुड वॉट इज गुड फॉर वन सेल्फ वॉट इज यु नो वर्ल्डली गुड राधर वर्ल्डली गुड इज इज कॉल्ड एज अभ्युदय एंड वॉट इज दि अध्यात्म गुड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज श्रेय सो अभ्युदय एंड श्रेय निश्रेय Here he says, अभ्युदय तत्प्राप्ति हेतु अहम हि इज भविष्य भविष्य मीन्स के भविष्य मीन्स भावी कल्याण नाम वॉट एवर इज ऑस्पिशियस इन दि फ्यूचर यू नो समाइम्स यू नो देर देर आर दीज उत्कर्ष प्राप्ति योग्य देर आर समथिंग विच यू नो इज कैंड ऑफ यू नो दिस ओमेन्स यू नो और सम कैंड ऑफ ड्रीम विच टेल्स यू समथिंग यू नो गुड कमिंग अप इन दि फ्यूचर so that is accepted in the shastra there are some dreams which reveal the future or you know uh, lead you to some wealth or something like that so among those he is this uh, abhyudaya who makes such such possibilities he he brings about such uh, worldly good anyway so a lot, lot of fears counted finally he says what kirti hi shri hi vak च नारी नाम स्मृति ही मेधा धृति ही क्षमा सो मेनी थिंग्स नारी नाम सो यू नो ऑल दिस श्री ही कीर्ति वाक स्मृति ही मेधा धृति क्षमा ऑल दीज आर ऑल दीज आर फेमिन सो मेधा दी विषय मेधा देवी वाक देवी कीर्ति ही श्री इज लक्ष्मी हर्सल All this is what even this the shakti which manifests is in in human beings or in others of all species. What is this manifestation of a Sri Shakti? Therefore, Nari Nam Aham Kirti Hi Shri Hi Vak Smriti Medha Dhuti Shama. All of that is Ishwara manifesting. Itte Taha Uttama Ha Sri Nam Aham Asmi. Yasam, now again, funny thing is that okay, this is all we think that we have all this. Someone thinks that okay, I have Vinak, Meeda, I have Dhruti, I have Shama, you know, forbearance, all of this I have, you know, Vakchaturiyam, I have so much of wealth, I have earned it, I have done this, I am rich, all this, I am famous, Kirti is there. But then Bhagwan Bhaskara says, Yasam, Abha Samatra Sambhi Sambandhe Na Pi Lokha Krutar Sam Atma Nam Manyate. आत्मान मनते लोक मनते इट्स अ कर्तरी प्रयोग लोक पीपल द वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल पीपल कन्सिडर और वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल कन्सिडर्स एक वचन सो लिटरली ट्रांस लोक इज वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल द वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल कन्सिडर्स आत्मान एज कृतार्थ कन्सिडर्स वन सेल्फ हियर इट इज रिफ्लेक्सिव कन्सिडर वन कन्सिडर्स वन सेल्फ एज यू नो आई हैव डन इट आई हैव गॉड इट सेल्फ मेड मैन Pooja Swami used to laugh at the self-made man. Everything is given. How are you self-made? How can you be self-made? Parents created you, 
and then the intellect if you are really an intellectual the intellect was given to you you didn't earn it as in in this janma you didn't do anything to get that intellect wealth was given to you you had resources given to you you so what is it that you really did to be self made so this is what bhagwan bhashan abhasa matra sambandhena api just just an abhas of kirti shri vak smriti hi medha i have a great memory dhriti hi kshama all of that is is what abhasa matra and just abhasa matra sambandha also is there with any of these feminine qualities then one considers one self okay i have attained it i have done it it's a joke you know so brahat sam tatha sam nam gayatri chand chand sam aham masana magashi margashirsho aham ritu nam kusumakarah pardon my uh, errors in chanting i am a little uh, how many are there oh, we can have another class feeling a little uh, dull today it will drowsy as well so i'll stop here aksharanam so we have seen this and mrutyu sarvaharascha what what will we we'll continue from brahastham so i made a mistake here i chant this again from 35 will i thought that we can do it but then there's so much you know so many uh, you know bhashya is so wonderful there some words you know the way you interpret so it is not as simple as you know just reading through it these words have a lot of meaning therefore uh, although i you know i myself uh, thought that okay all i i had mentioned it earlier that i'll go through all of this in one class but uh, thankfully my uh, uh, this thing is broken my uh, misunderstanding has been corrected okay so uh, we'll stop here narayana paro vyakta dandam avyakta samandasya antastumi ka sapta dipa chimi dini any questions yeah i had a question uh, but it's not directly related to this uh, class today yeah. is it open to ask yeah please uh so in uh, in um, sandhya we will touch our year during uh, ganga yeah right yeah. yeah so so is this is this got to do with this jahnu person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, very much possible so yeah, i think uh, it may not be it may be mentioned somewhere i don't know but that's how uh, it, it can be considered as yeah. came from the year right so yeah the year yeah. okay and uh then i had uh, another question Yeah. which was in uh, this is unrelated actually this one was related but the other one is unrelated which is uh, in gayatri uh, we say we it is uh, but who is the we yeah like huh. because it is uh, in mani so we are prayer it is plural yeah. so why is it plural yeah, it is plural because uh, it is uh, see when do you actually start chanting gayatri when upanayana is done upanayana is generally done uh, after eight you know eight to whatever there, there is an age as a child and it is said that uh, when the child does it others are also doing but it is for the family you know the entire family it is not one's own pursuit there he, he is born to such parents who have given him that kind of an upanayana sanskara so he chants for others also so it affects the it brings about good for others also therefore it is said that the plural is for the entire family there okay but it is not uh, what to say next it is not it is not like a universal prayer or anything uh, it can be taken extended see because mm-hmm. brahmana karma if you look at it brahmana karma is not for his own self right kshatriya mm-hmm. karma is also not for own self we look at it vaishya karma is also not one for one soul so shudra karma is also not for one soul so when the shudra is doing something he is doing it for himself as well as others vaishya is growing agriculture is not for his own sake but 
ही पार्टी के टेरिटरी फॉर दी अदर्स एल्सो क्षत्रिय रक्षण आए फॉर हिज ओन सेल्फ एज वेल एज अदर्स ब्राह्मण ऑल्सो डज मंत्र जप नॉट ओनली फॉर हिज गुड फॉर अदर्स ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वो दिस मंत्र राइट जनरली वी चैंटेड एट पूजा इज डेफिनेटली वी चैंटेड and uh, it's preferable to do it after our own sandhya vandana also it is something kartavyam karma sasti prajabhya paripalayantam nyaye na margena mahim mahisha go brahmane bishosthitim then what bhoka samasta sukhino bhavantu why should i pray for others we don't think that does a shudra think that why should i serve others he does not does a vaishya think that okay no why i i'll grow my own vegetables so anyone wants they can grow on their own no so they don't have time for puja they are serving others it is all you know sahaviryam karva bhai hmm. so a brahmana is he, it is his duty to pray for others a brahmana who says that okay i'll pray for others only if i get something is no brahmana at all kim brahmana we can be called so it is a duty to pray for others whether or not you get anything because this is it is kartavyam karma so by during gayatri also it can be extended to others but then you are doing other prayers also for others need not be gayatri alone but gayatri is mainly for your own self then it is for the immediate family and then for others also it it will have an effect because wherever you do any mantra chanting vaidika chanting it will have an effect nonetheless whether you want it or not whether you have a sankalpa also or not it will have a, a larger effect than because mantra shakti itself is like that mm mm-hmm. okay, okay. Is that answer so, your question? Uh, yeah, uh, there is a related question to this also in the sense uh, that uh, can, I can we? Is there anyone who has a question? I see something as a question there. Can I come back? Yeah, I'll come back to if uh, if there is any question and someone wants to drop off later. Does anyone have a question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a question there. Can I come back? Yeah, I'll come back to if if there is any question. I assume not. Anand, you can come back if you. <laughs> you have to pick the question again. Maybe. Yeah. So, uh, can one do puja for someone else? Yeah, yeah. That's what the uh, what what does the Purohit does do? He he does puja for others, right? Right. Okay. Okay. You can do puja for others. So the sankalpa you say it is for the others, and uh, preferably use uh, uh, parasmi padam form. Mm-hmm. Sankalpa, not karishe, karishyami, or karishyamha if there are two, karishyamha if there are more than two. Mm-hmm. Or if you use karishyami also is sufficient if you are alone doing it for someone, but it is for you and for the other. Therefore, use karishyami, not karishe. Many purohits don't uh, even know this, and they don't even follow even if they know it. I don't think many of them know karishe. That's why actually, uh, in fact, atmane padam and parasme padam are actually sanyas. As per the astadhyayi, they are mere sanyas, mere names. but mm-hmm. it is also anvarthaka anvarthaka means it is as per the meaning why parasmai padam it is actually if you look at it, it is a it is a it is a what is it called it is a, a samasa aluk samasa parasmai padam it is a samasa parasmai that uh, the sup has not dropped off so it is an aluk samasa sup should drop off in a samasa but aluk samasa it like kanthe kalah kanthe kalah It is not kantha kala. It is kanthe kala. Kanthe that mm-hmm. saptami vibhakti is retained within the samasa. So there are some aluk samasa. There is aluk means there is no look. Lopa is not there. Mm-hmm. Adarshanam lopa, look also, look shul lopa. So, uh, so there uh, the the case ending is retained within the samasa of the puro pada. So parasmai padam, atmane padam, and dhatu vai parasmai padi, atmane padi. so these are sanyas but they are anvarthaka only in particular sense in, in fact many people explain that that you know it is a uh, it, that, that meaning it is used because only it is for if the phala is for you you should use atmane pada if the phala is for the others also uh, then you should use parasmi padam that is not true for all dhatus therefore that kind of explanation is wrong it is a mere sanya but only in particular cases and particular dhatus where there is you know with uh, a uh, स्वरितनित कर्तृभिप्राय आत्म सूत्र कर्तृभिप्राय क्रिया फले 
सो कर्तव्यप्राय क्रियाफले आत्मने पदम सो कर्तव्यप्राय क्रियाफले मीन्स ओनली वेन ए धातु कैन टेक बोथ एंडिंग्स वेन इट एज अट परस्मयी पदी धातु के नॉट टेक आत्मने पदी आत्मने पदम एंडिंग्स एंड आत्मने पदी धातु के नॉट टेक परस्मयी पदम एंडिंग्स सो वॉट इज उभय पदी उभय पदी इज नॉट अ टेक्निकल टर्म इन अष्टाध्यायी बट दैट पर्टिक्युलर धातु सेट ऑफ धातु विच आर स्वरित नित सम पर्टिक्युलर इथलेटर्स आर देअर इन धातु पॉटा दोज कमिंग टू दॅट ग्रुप वेअर दे टेक दे टेक आत्मने पदम प्रत्यय तम झ ता सा तम झम इडवही महिंग दे टेक दोज नाईन प्रत्यय ओनली वेन दी फला गोस टू दॅम अदरवाईज शेषे करत आत्मने परस्मयी पदम सो दॅट परस्मयी पदम इज इज यूज शेषे सो देअर बाय उभयपदी संज्ञा हॅज कम अबाउट इट इज नॉट रिअली अ धातू दे अष्टाध्यायी सूत्रपाठ संज्ञा बट अदरवाईज इट इज यूज अँड इन सच केसेस दिस क्र धातू इज वन ऑफ दम बिकॉज द क्रिंज करणे नित 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 इट इज अ नित धातू द क्रिंज इट इज अ डित धातू अँड इट इज अ नित धातू देस फॉर क्र धातू द क्रिंज धातू द क्रिंज करणे करणे अर्थे द क्रिंज धातू इज ऑफ द सेम भज गोविंदम नाही नाही रक्षते डुक्रिंज करणे दॅट डुक्रिंज धातू इज इन करणे अर्थे अँड इट इज उभयपदी देअर बाय अँड वेन दी फला गोस टू दी करता ओनली देन करिशे शुड बी यूज इन लट लकारा अँड बिकॉज लट लकारा अँड इवन यू कॅन करोमी इज ऑल्सो फाईन बट करोमी ऑर whatever form has to be used that should be based on the phala to whom is the phala only me or me and you will get a phala anyway some punya will come anyway if and even if the purohit does it for the yajmana but then he should use karishyami not karishye mm. that will answer the question or yeah what more than wanted i am just trying to keep myself away by that being so no no Anything else? Yes, uh, there was one more thing. So, uh, I've heard this before, I don't know if it's true. It's about uh, Shankara not quoting Bhagavata Purana anywhere. And, uh, I have not uh, read it, but I don't know. Yeah, Bhagavata Purana, anywhere? Uh, anywhere in his Bhashya. And uh, that it is, uh, that it, uh, at that time it was not available for him because he's quoting Vishnu Purana but he's never quoting Bhagavata Purana and now that you uh, we came across the shloka with Paralada mm-hmm. and that is actually from Bhagavata Purana I was just thinking that, uh, that Pralhada, it, it, Pralhada is, is someone who is not occurring only in Bhagavata Purana right he is a Daitya Pralhada is not a entity only in, in Bhagavata Purana it can be a but anyway i don't buy to this view whether uh, just because bhagwan bhashyakara didn't quote it didn't uh, exist i i don't buy to this kind of an argument at all there may be people who may be using it but uh, and this is mostly a scholarly approach and i honestly i'm i don't have a bent towards that and to be blunt i'll even say i don't care for the scholarly approach okay scholarly in this is the university researchers they have all of this it benefits quite a lot of people it benefits many but i have i don't have that kind of a bent of mind i couldn't care any lesser to be very blunt as to what the scholars think as to what came came from the pen of shankara or if if they they call it you know the pen of shankara or i for me bhagavat pada acharya wrote what he wrote because he thought it was valid whether or not it was available there and just because it was available he should have quoted is not my thinking at all why why should he quote and is so that will you know lead to what kind of an erroneous conclusion the erroneous conclusion i can draw from a similar thinking and which the researchers do so called researchers do that as well they say that because bhagwan bhashyakara did not write bhashya on anything other than this pen nothing else is an upanishad or or then they'll search for what quotations he has given if he has given a quotation from shvetashvatara then shvetashvatara is an upanishad otherwise it is not it is very ridiculous you know 108 upanishads are taken authentic by uh, the sampradaya advaita sampradaya at least takes all these 108 in the muktika upanishad as authentic now 
Should he have written on everything? What all will he do in a life of 32 years? In 32 years, these these researchers with all the Google help, all the universities and all the people available on email at their disposal and with uh, you know these college university professor guides and then all these colleagues working towards them and uh, you know you scratch my back, I scratch your, with all, scratch was all that approach, they can't get one PhD in time. That was substandard in many places, I don't say everywhere. And you expect Bhagavan Bhashyagara to write down everything that is available in his time. Ridiculous argument, you know, logically also absolutely ridiculous. So to me, when, when people argue that I, I step away, I say, it's okay. Why do I care what other things? For me, Shraddhavan Labhate Jnanam. If you have Shraddha in Bhagavad Purana, go ahead with it. That's it. Irrelevant. What, the argument that Puja Swami used to make is that Bhagavad Purana, Srimad Bhagavatam, is not written by the same Vyasa that we see who wrote other Puranas. Why so? Because the because the language is so different, that is also scholarly approach, but so different in the sense it appears as though Bhagavatam Sanskrit is so difficult that it appears as though he has, he has force-fitted them and force-fitted it to such an extent to show his scholarship in Vyakrana. This is Puja Swami's take, I am just quoting, I am not saying for right or wrong. I know that Bhagavatam Sanskrita is difficult. I have seen quite a lot of people, you know, uh, falter when they try to chant it. It is not even chantable easily. For people who know Sanskrit well, not Tom, Dick and Harry's like me. I, I mean, I don't have any coaching in how to chant. I don't know Chandasa. I, know, I don't know Chandas. I don't know. I have not studied it. Mm. So, make, making fit is one thing. But then, people who know that, uh, of course, they are, they are trained in Bhagavatam. It is, since childhood, it is a different thing. You know, the Bhagavata Katha people do very well. Mm. But then, uh, this is his argument that it may not be the same Vyasa, but it was not existent. I, I particularly don't take to that aspect at all. I, I mean, I, that approach seems faulty to me and uh, it gets me nothing, you know. It's, uh, it gets me nothing. So, it is not Vada really. If you start discussing there, it, it may be it may be Jalpa, it may be Vitanda or it may be some, something other than Vada. It may be. It may be Vada for a scientific community also, you know, the, the literary community where they want to find out what is the truth. Whether they land on that truth or not is, is again the peer review and all may prove it. But uh, I couldn't care any less because for me, Sampradaya says this, that's it. I mean, uh, we saw that, right? There are so many Upanishads which have, you know, the Guru said it, it becomes an Upanishad. There we may question it, it's, it's fine. But then this... Shishya has Shraddha, it is an Upanishad to him. He has Guru Shraddha and which he should be there, that is fine. For him it is an Upanishad, it is fine. So for Bhagavatam also, why, why do we care whether it has, uh, was there in Bhagavad, Bhagavad Padachara's time? I, I really don't care. And I, I can't conclude one way or the other. Someday if I feel like studying and if, if I can study, I would love to study Bhagavatam. Whether or not it was existent is irrelevant then. For me, that it is a Purana and to me Purana that was existent. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of who quoted what. I don't know okay. if it helps but then that's... That, I, you know that I have a very upfront... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, no, I just thought you would have heard something similar before. And Even if I have heard, I just... Uh, I mean, I give it a leg by. Our Sanskrit teacher used to say, give it a leg by. Let it, why do I care? It brings us nothing, you know. <laughs> what does it bring you? Okay, it was, see, that's what we saw. If it was existent during Shankaracharya's time, what is your conclusion? If it was not there, what is your conclusion? If you weigh, you know, what is the conclusion? Will you take a decision that, yes, I will study it, it is a new one, or I'll not study it, it is a new one. Or if it is an old one, oh, I have to study. Oh, it's an old one, I don't care. Do you have any anything linked to that? It is just uh, academic interest to me. And uh, it does not suit the purpose, personally. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it. But I, I, no, I, I, I am only, uh, for me, what I find, uh, uh, it is, like what I want to uh, get clear in my head is, uh, for example, we say that there is, the Panchama Veda, which is okay. Vedic, uh, and Purana. So, 
and this the Upanishad itself says, I think, no, somewhere I have read this, but the Upanishad itself says. Pajitama Veda? Yeah. Mahabharata? Yeah. I don't think so. <coughs> so, <coughs> so, uh, we had, we have the Vedas and from the Vedas we have the, the Puranas and Itihasa hmm. uh, as, as off, offshoots. Now, uh, we have to, uh, if you drop all historical uh, aspects to it, that means that you take all of it as almost at the same time, right? Um, uh, not sure I get that. You mean dharma part of it? No, right. When you remove the timeline, you are If you t- remove the timeline... Yeah, so, so, so if, I, if I remove the timeline, then for me it is not... Uh, it's not clear how to uh, digest the materials. Like, like if you take an example of. Uh